the Bahamas, the threat is already here. We do not have the luxury of time. Three years ago, we were severely impacted by Hurricane Dorian, which was a hurricane of unprecedented strength and intensity. It sat over two of our most populated islands for several days and caused extreme damage from a perspective of loss of life. And it is estimated that the damage to property was in excess of $3.4 billion. The Bahamas is 70% ocean, so the effect on the ocean is directly translatable into our way of life. The Bahamas is basically the carbon sink for a lot of the world. The World Bank has estimated that we contribute less than one-tenth of one percent to carbon emissions, but we are bearing the brunt of the effect of carbon emissions worldwide. And the impact of climate change has far-reaching effects throughout small island developing states, so we all speak with one voice. One of the achievements that we have had so far has been the appointment of a special rapporteur on human rights as it relates to climate change. Our hope can be summed up in one word, action. Action in producing specific plans and policies to bring about the changes that are essential to protecting our planet, not just for ourselves, but for future generations.